The International Robotics Exhibition, or IREX 2022, was held in Japan at the Tokyo Big Sight Exhibition Hall. From appealing humanoid and bio-inspired robots to a variety of industrial robots, all were present at this large sight trade show in Tokyo. In today's video, we'll take a look at everything you need to know about Japan's largest robot exhibition. IREX claims to be the world's largest robot trade show, with over 300 exhibitors and over 100,000 visitors. IREX is the world's largest robotics trade show, and it is highly regarded both in Japan, the leading country in the robot industry, and internationally. The exhibition brings together the world's leading robot manufacturers, as well as their associated business enterprises. Exhibitors make robots, related equipment, networks, simulation, and vision systems, among other things. Many visitors attended the exhibition, including robot-related experts and engineers, as well as users from the fields of electric, electronic engineering, machine, tool, and automobiles. Concurrently, special events, seminars, and forums with highly professional content are organized. IREX 2022 was held earlier this year, March 9th to 12th in Tokyo, and provided an opportunity for 600 companies and organizations from around the world to showcase their latest robotic creations. This year's event theme was The Way Towards a Friendlier Society, Bridged by Robots, which, like previous slogans, we suspect was created by a slogan creating AI based on every other Japanese trade show slogan ever. The expo was divided into two sections, industrial robot zones and service robot zones. Personal robots, space robots, agricultural robots, and cleaning robots are examples of industrial robots, while service robots include welding and riveting arms, we're not sure which category the massive fighting robots fell into. At IREX 2022, Kawasaki showcased the pinnacle of its robot development. Kawasaki Heavy Industries has a lot of experience mass-producing industrial robots. And now we get to see some of its early work on service robots, multi-purpose humanoids, and for some reason, a ride on a robot Ibex. While the brand is best known in the West world as a motorcycle manufacturer, Kawasaki is a 125-year-old multidisciplinary, multinational powerhouse with revenues in excess of $15 billion in 2020 across a variety of industries, including aerospace, rail, shipbuilding, energy, industrial, environmental, and infrastructure. However, at Tokyo's International Robot Exhibition, IREX 2022, the company revealed a softer, stranger side. Since 2015, Kawasaki has had a team working on a robust humanoid platform called Kaleido, a tall, broad-shouldered beast weighing 80 kilograms that is intended to eventually replace humans in manual labor situations. At IREX, the team unveiled the seventh generation of Kaleido, with Kawasaki's robot division general manager, Noboru Takagi, declaring, It is now possible to do actual work in a work site with a combination of autonomous operation and remote control, and that practical application is only one step away. However, it does not appear that Boston Dynamics needs to be looking over its shoulders at this time. Kaleido took the stage with two human team members holding tether ropes then performed a couple of stilted dance steps before moving up to a balanced beam, stepping down off the other side, pausing for loud cheers, then turning around, heading back across the beam and waving goodbye. A subsequent demonstration tethered the Kaleido in the air, accompanied by an 8-minute extended version of Bon Jovi's It's My Life. He illustrated his ability to grab steel bars, beat them with his fists, and give the ladies a very swaggy, if extremely slow, thumbs up. The company then unveiled Friends, a smaller 55kg robot. Friends is based on Kaleido, but it is intended to be safe for working with and interacting with humans, as Japan's rapidly aging population is expected to face growing isolation and unmet needs for assistance with personal care. Kawasaki sees this as the type of robot people may end up living with, particularly older people. Friends made two stage appearances one in which it did some gentle motion capture dancing, and the other in which it pushed a wheelchair around an extremely patient, wobbly-headed grandma dummy. It advanced about 5 meters in 4 minutes, then turned around, apparently kissing granny on the head, and pushed her back out the gate. A riding robot is uncommon, but Kawasaki has demonstrated one. Bex, the robot, debuted at the 2022 IREX in Tokyo, the Ibex-like robot is the result of Kawasaki's robot program, Kaleido, which has primarily developed robots with two legs that are more human-like. 
Bex, on the other hand, can bounce on its four legs or roll forward on a pair of wheels placed in the ground when the robot bends on its knees. Bex is a product of the company's Kaleido program, which has focused on bipedal robots since 2015. Partway through the project, Kawasaki's engineers decided to create a robot that could move quickly across level ground while also navigating difficult terrain. Bex was developed as part of Kawasaki's effort to develop a robust humanoid platform with the Kaleido project. The majority of the project's efforts have involved robots that are halfway between human-like and wheeled robots. Bex can squat to its knees, lock its joints, and activate a motor that propels the robot around like a car. Bex can also transport up to 100 kilograms of cargo, such as crops or humans. Bex was mounted by an engineer and ridden in circles like a pony at the exhibition. The Kawasaki team has also made the robot more gleaming than many of its competitors, with flashing lights running up and down its neck and antlers. Bex has wheels on its knees, allowing it to move faster on smooth surfaces than the glacial pace at which it walks. Bex can carry about 220 pounds of cargo. In addition to transporting construction materials, Kawasaki envisions it performing remote industrial site inspections, similar to what Spot already does at Hyundai factories in Korea. To that end, Bex's top half is fully modular, so it doesn't have to resemble a goat. Clearly, these are still early-stage efforts for Kawasaki in a notoriously difficult field, but such presentations do little to establish this storied company as a serious competitor in this space. Up next, we have Noki, a service robot with a digital face and a flat screen, a long arm and a neck with a vacuum cleaner on its base. It can move around like a human and perform various tasks with its arms. The service robot delivers meals to customers, delivers packages, and transports medicines and luggage. Nochi has a light and visionary sensor that allows it to understand and see its surroundings. Using a remote control system, the robot can be taught new skills and movements to operate in an environment. Techman Robot made a triumphant return to IREX to demonstrate human-robot collaboration manufacturing applications. Rapid integration with palletizing and welding operators and cobot integration with AI Vision. The upgraded TM Robot S will be available soon. This new series will include exclusive hardware and software improvements, smarter integration with Vision and peripheral applications, a more intuitive human-machine interface and safer human-machine collaboration, making it suitable for a wide range of industrial applications and ready to meet your smart manufacturing needs. TM AI Plus is an AI vision solution developed by Techman Robot. It is a software that can be used independently as well as in conjunction with TM Robot's built-in vision system, which has evolved into an intelligent collaborative robot with AI recognition. TM AI Plus is the cobot industry's first integration of traditional machine vision and advanced AI vision in a single robotic system and it can assist in the resolution of problems such as vision recognition, barcode reading, OCR, image classification, and assembly. It is currently used in Japanese automobile manufacturers' quality control, as well as in the product identification of pizza and fried chicken chains. TMAI Plus can be used in a wide range of industries, from automobiles to food. Another highlight of the exhibition was the HRP-4 robot developed by Kavada Industries. The HRP-4 robot is smaller and lighter than the previous HRP models. The robot, which weighs only 86 pounds, can stand on one leg, recognize objects and human faces, and respond to voice commands by striking a pose. Each arm can lift up to one pound of load with a height of 5 feet and 34 moving joints. The humanoid robot is primarily used for advertising and collaborating with humans. Armoron Corporation introduced the Forpheus robot. Forpheus is a table tennis robot that analyzes a player's facial expressions, body movements, and heart rates. The robot can also evaluate its own performance and determine the speed of the racket. The Forpheus is extremely accurate and never fails. The robot was created to represent Armoron's future vision of humans and machines working together. Overall, the exhibition served as a vehicle for informing the world about future robot technologies, with companies from around the world exchanging business ideas and the latest innovations. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. But before that, we'd like to know your opinion about this. Are you excited for this Japanese exhibition? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.